Hi everyone and welcome back to the Rita Question channel. I know it's a long time no see. Been quite busy. Um, I'll give you a wee update. So, I think my last, I can't even remember when my last video was. But since then, uh, I've been busy with uni, doing placements, having an exams. And then, if you've been following my Instagram, you'll know that Eva has been injured since April. So it's just been really Lila that I've been dealing with and we've not been up to much. We did a few online dressage um, tests but other than that we've just been getting Eva back to health and Lila's been getting the most work really. Um, so if you've not been following my Instagram you won't know that Eva, the middle of April, tried to escape we think and caught her leg on the fence and um, she cut it just on the pastern so it was quite nasty to begin with and she couldn't get stitches because of where it was um, it would just burst the stitches so we've just been washing it every single day putting cream on it and now it's just a scab so past couple of weeks we've been hacking and lunging just gradually bringing her back into work she wasn't stiff on it or anything but just because she hasn't been worked on it for a wee while um we're just trying to introduce her introduce her back in a wee bit more slowly um so this is her leg just a scab now which is pretty good considering what it was it was a big massive hole in her leg um so today I think I'll do a wee life with the horses. Eva I'm going to be lunging and Lila I think I'm going to put her in the Spanish saddle and give her a wee go. I've not rode um, Lila in a Spanish saddle which would be quite interesting. Last time I rode in a Spanish saddle was Eve, Lila's um, dad so a big stallion. I rode in a Spanish saddle on a stallion. Don't know how I managed that but so let's see how it goes with Lila. Before we get riding, I think we need to give the girls a wee bit of a groom. Keeping greys in Scotland isn't the best combination, but we'll see what we can do. <laughs>
still don't look any cleaner. I'd have to give them about three baths to actually get them to look white, but it'll do for today. I'm also going to get, excuse me, helicopter. A bit rude. Also today, want some pictures in the yard because look how beautiful the yard is looking. All the flowers have came out and today is really nice again here in Scotland. We've been having quite good weather but it's been too warm to ride so this is like the first proper schooling day. Just look how beautiful these flowers are all over the yard. So, oh my god, can you even hear me from that helicopter? Don't they know I'm trying to film a vlog? <laughs> we are all tacked up, finally. Spanish saddle is on. This is going to be interesting because you can't rise in it, so we'll be sitting trot all the way. And there's Eva in all her glory. <laughs> I'm up and on the Spanish saddle. Just look at it, it's amazing, it's so comfy. Forgot how comfy it actually is. And it's still quite humid today, so I'm not actually going to push her too much today, especially being in a different saddle. So just do walk, trot, and a wee bit of canter. Also got my pivot pod set up just there. So you'll catch it, catch all of the Spanish fun. Also, I'd like to say that I'm now a brand ambassador for Pivo. So I'll leave a link in the description and you can purchase your own Pivo pod. Um, there are amazing little things. I could honestly not live without my Pivo anymore. I get to record every session that I do with both of them and I get to watch back, make sure she's moving okay, make sure I'm doing okay and if there's anything that I need to tweak I can obviously see that in the video, see where we're going wrong and it really has improved my riding and um, I've also captured great moments on it honestly I would be lost without it now. All my Instagram pictures and videos are mainly taking on my Pivo so if it wasn't for the Pivo I wouldn't get nice pictures for that either so yeah go check it out! <laughs> So much fun riding in that Spanish saddle, it's so comfy but Lila is really sweaty so I'm going to call it a day. Like I said, wasn't going to do too much with her but oh, it was amazing, you'll see that from the clips how comfy it looks. Is anybody else's horse just following them about? Like I don't even need to like hold on to her, she just follows me and I know she's not going to go anywhere. <laughs>
just going to hose Miss Sweaty Betty over here and then give her a wee treat and then with Eva we'll do some stretches and then I'll lunge her and then that's us done for the day. cinnamon heart if Eva doesn't steal it off me. I'm just going to break it up into four pieces and we'll get stretching. So I'm just going to put around our belly. Try and hold it for a few minutes. This gives her a good stretch and then one more. into work like I've not done a flat work session with her and knowing Eva she has a wee bit spicy so it could make an interesting series so if you like that just pop a wee comment down below so I know. With the girls feed I've been giving them spillers, locale cubes, um, a forage mix just to give them a wee bit of energy trying to keep them low sugar as possible because their grass is so good just now and they would put weight on by just breathing. Also got the glucosine um, supplements with MSM, really good for Eva just because she isn't using her joints as much so don't want them to stiffen up and it has been making a difference with Lila when I used to warm Lila up I could hear her hip click but now since I've put them on to this they've been on it for five months um, there has been a huge improvement so very pleased I love the little faces and dances that they do when they know that they're getting their dinner where's my two patient girls? definitely not patient at all <laughs> For healing Eva's leg, we've been using the Leo Vet Silver Salve, and since using it, I have seen such an uh, improvement with Eva's leg. It's just a scab now, which is pretty good. We've been through numerous lotion and potions trying to heal this leg, but we're nearly there. It's just a scab, but she will be left with a scar, no doubt. And if you follow me on Instagram, you will know that I recently discovered this from, I think it's Forganza that does it, but I picked it up at Decathlon for $6.99 I'm sure it is, and it's a roll-on fly spray. I've never seen anything like this before. I think I've said previously that Eva hates fly sprays, so we're always trying to find something. And we found this, and it's such a great little thing. You just roll it on, it's telling you to put it like on their belly and their head where the flies attack. We've been trying it out for a few days now, and I'm really impressed. Lila's belly is always the worst for flies, so you just roll it on, and it doesn't have a harsh chemical smell to it, which is really good. Another purchase that I've made is these fly masks from Shires. These are the deluxe ones because they're lined with sheepskin. I picked one up for Eva in a cob size just because her head is slightly smaller than Lila's but they do run quite big so I do suggest measuring your horse and then looking at their size guide because Lila's is a full but still running quite big. But I know if I put it in a cob size, it would be too small. So just measure your horse and make sure whichever size. 
Also, Eva has not been able to get hers off, which is a big thumbs up from me. Just going to end the vlog off here, guys. I hope you have enjoyed spending the day with me, Eva and Lila, and enjoyed a vlog that I've not done in so many months. So if you could please like, subscribe and share, I would greatly appreciate that and turn on the wee notification bell so you get notified when I upload. See you later, bye!